What's up guys? I felt the need to do a quick disclaimer. Anything you see on this video was done out of my own personal experiences I've had with Litchi. This is a demonstration on how you should handle a uh, signal loss situation when using Litchi. Keep in mind during the whole flight this was over my own property well under uh, 400 feet. It was actually at 167 feet from point of takeoff. I was within line of sight the entire time. This was done over a 30 acre area so it's it's not that big of an area sometimes if you're running litchy waypoint mission you might you know lose line of sight there might be trees or whatever obstacle gets in between you and your phantom and if this should happen just uh, keep calm and wait for the waypoint mission to play out once you regain line of sight, it should automatically reconnect itself. So once again, I do not recommend doing this. Uh, this is just a demonstration of keeping calm and having the faith that it'll restore connection. So yeah, enjoy. I've had a few questions about what happens if I lose signal during my waypoint, my Litchi waypoint flights. I just want to address that. This is what Litchi looks like when you first open it up. First thing we need to do is top left, click where it says FPV, select waypoint. Zoom in to the area where you're going to be flying. Okay, now once you find the area you're flying, go ahead and set up your POIs or whatever you want to do. Just for demonstration's sake and safety's sake, and keep it over our own property just in case something does go wrong. Once you get your POI set up, go ahead and get your drawing tool out. Start at the house, go down around the neighbor's house, and then go back up to my house. Now I'm going to set my altitude as normal. We're going to do a focus POI. All right. I'm going to go ahead and slow down our cruising speed on this mission. My finish action is going to be to go back to first waypoint. We're going to do a heading mode of waypoint defined. That means that it'll be looking at the closest POI to that waypoint. Everything else looks good. Focus POI on my gimbal pitch mode and rotations direction is managed. So with this kind of setup, if I lose all signal from the controller up to the Phantom, it's still going to fly this waypoint mission 100% autonom autonomously. Before it ever starts the mission, you have to upload it to the Phantom itself. Once you do that, the Phantom has all the information it needs to complete the uh, waypoint mission. It knows when to make turns, when to pitch the gimbal down and when it knows how to keep the uh, gimbal on the POI that it needs to be at. All that information gets uploaded at the very beginning. So even if you don't have a connection between the Phantom and your controller, it'll still complete the mission. Let's go ahead, run this and see what it does. So you'll be able to see what I'm doing on the ground while the Phantom's doing its mission and I'll actually be able to prove that I don't have any controller on my cell phone I'll go ahead and turn my cell phone off I'll do I'll, I'll shut down everything on the ground and then show you how I um, regain connections with it in the sky and we will save this as connection lost All right, let's get this thing going. Guess what, we're ready for flight. So what you wanna do is go ahead and take off. Now, 
flip switch one to function mode. Go up to the top right or top left. Waypoints. Load waypoint. Connection lost is the name of this one. We'll load that. We will press the record button on the camera. Recording started. And the play button. And here we go. Litchie's doing this all on its own. Once it starts the actual flight path, I'm going to go ahead and kill the remote and the phone. And here we go. Oh wait, it's still going to uh, target number one. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now it's at target number one. We are recording. Remote off. Warning, disconnected. Exit out of Litchie. Close. I'll just go ahead and restart the phone because it's going to be back quick. And there's the Phantom way over there. The uh, controller is off. Once again, this will be flying over my property and well below 400 feet. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it do its thing. I've still got line of sight of the Phantom. About to go behind that cedar tree. I can still hear it. Oh, there it is. Now for the finish action, I've got this set to return to the first waypoint. So whenever it gets finished doing the uh, circuit, what it'll do after it passes that last waypoint, it'll recognize that it's finished and it'll go right back to the first waypoint and wait there. It'll sit there and hover, wait on me to take control again. So there's the Phantom again. No power. Now it's going back to the first waypoint. And that's it. Put a, to regain control, flip your switch one back into GPS mode.
and go ahead and bring it down. Now obviously my camera is still recording, so what I need to do at this point, now that I have control over the Phantom again, I need to go ahead and open up my Litchi app. Still says, it says recording disconnected. Started. Now. Did you hear it say recorded and started? It's still recording. Right where we left off. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it, keep on bringing it down. And that's what we call a successful connection lost Litchi Waypoint mission. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Recording stop. So go ahead and stop recording. Easy as that.